Acre Gold lets you invest in physical gold without coming out of pocket all at once. You know how the price of gold has been all over the place lately? Now there's a way to buy gold through a company called Acre. Acre lets you subscribe to gold bars for as little as $30 a month. You pay each month, then once your gold stash reaches the price of their gold bars, they discreetly ship Acre Gold to your house. Just recently, Acre introduced a new $100 a month subscription to a 5 gram gold bar. Acre keeps you updated on your gold stash every month and ships once your price reaches that threshold. Check out the description link to learn more. Hi, Dan. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at an Ivor Johnson brake top 38 Smith & Wesson revolver. This lever here, you just push up on it. It breaks open like that. And actually, I want to show you this. The extractor comes out upon the brake open action and allows you to manually pull out the shells or just drop them. This review came together accidentally. All right, I, I originally picked this up from my father-in-law who found it in, in like an attic of a house that he bought. He said, you want this? I said, sure. Then I realized it was in 38 Smith & Wesson. They also make a very similar revolver in 32 Smith & Wesson. But the reason it came together accidentally is because I was at Cabela's. I saw 38, a box of 38 for 23 bucks. I thought I was getting a deal. With 38 Special, later I looked, it was 38 Smith & Wesson. So uh, I'm not the sharpest knife in the collection. But nonetheless, it gave me a chance to take out this. Now, you may notice it has tape around the grip. When I got it, it had no grips. So I have electrical tape here. It actually looks like the original with the, the black grip. But a three and a half inch barrel, the sights are minimal. You can see that I barely hit, I'm only about seven yards away. I barely hit the target, I think two out of five. That rear sight is really thin. It does have a ramped up front sight. This was produced most likely in the late 1800s, early 19th century. I believe it went from 1895 to 1908 when this model was produced. You don't see brake open or brake top revolvers much anymore uh, they said Ivor Johnson said that this was among the safest revolvers at the time and the reason being is because it has a transfer bar safety that was modern technology back in the day it will go into single action when I first shot it I had a glove on because I wasn't sure what to expect and I couldn't even get my my finger in there to you can see how, how small that trigger guard is. I couldn't even get my finger in there, so I carefully shot it and found out that this actually shoots pretty, pretty well for such an old revolver. When I first got it, I had it cleaned up a little bit. And, you know, it is what it is. Now, through my research, some people, you know, it was said that these are worth a lot of money. Other people or other Places on the forum say it's worth hardly anything. I have to believe it's worth hardly anything, but it does work. So I'm going to load it up and see if I can shoot this a little better. I'll try two-handed. You know, the, it does lock up pretty well. And then when you break it open, you know, of course, there's, there's, you know, you got the timing hand and the firing pin and the bolt stop. But, it, you know, it's just a, it's a pretty cool nostalgic revolver. Uh, that was produced by Ivor Johnson. They also produced bicycles and machine parts and things like that. 38 Smith & Wesson will take the first one in single action. I'm actually holding at 6 o'clock. My first couple shots last time were really high. The sights are minimal. I'll go single action again. Alright, 6 o'clock hold. Double action. There we go. Check that out. Once again, break it open. Extracting arm lifts the shells up. You can remove them manually. 
or just drop them and then when you continue to open it it drops entirely and that's how you load it all right i backed up to approximately 10 yards we're gonna try it again once again a very low hold on the revolver these minimal sights let me go ahead i'm gonna do a six o'clock hold double action heavy double action pull here And there it is. Now one of the greatest benefits of having a YouTube channel is the feedback from educated viewers. <laughs> and I actually learn a lot. If you know much about this, please leave comments so I can learn more about this. I, I read up on it prior to this. I tried to study it, but there's not a lot of information out there. Not much at all, actually. But it's a, it's a cool little revolver. Now, I will mention, the 38 Smith & Wesson is a much softer shooting round than the 38 Special. Not that the 38 Special is much. I fully realize that. But the 38 Smith & Wesson, well, you can even look at the case there. You can see it's much smaller. So, there it is. Also, how do you like my tape job around the grip? Heavy double action trigger pull. And then the single action is not bad. I would say about seven pounds. But there it is. Ivor Johnson Brake Top 38 Smith & Wesson Revolver. First time I got it out. I've owned it for about eight years now. And I accidentally picked up that ammo. And now I got to review it and have some fun shooting it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.